good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyel, and I'm going to do a reading for y'all. So hit that like and subscribe button. Thank y'all so much for the likes and subscribe thus far. And let's get into this video, y'all, okay? So these are channel messages. I actually channeled these this morning, but I'm going to read you guys what I picked up on while I was channeling. Let's get into this video, y'all, okay? I do have names and locations at the end as well. So yeah, let's go. So what I picked up on while I was channeling is someone is definitely making you their target, okay? Somebody is targeting you, but it's because they want you to make something for them create something for them or do something for them okay there's something that you're really good at you're really bomb at and like i said somebody's like oh yeah the collective they do this or they're really good at whatever this is it's something that you're already really good at like i said you are being targeted because of this okay um so like i said they want you to make something for them or create something for them but i put that they're low-key mean as fuck behind the scenes okay this is definitely somebody being like oh my god girl like you're so good at this and oh my god you're so amazing like hey what's up bro like you good as fuck at whatever this is but behind the scenes this person is mean as fuck about whatever this is whatever they're wanting you to do they're mean as hell this person is entitled and this is almost like an energy where they talk about you like you have no self-respect for yourself because they're saying things like i know i can get her to do this i know she gonna do this for me uh she really good at watch bet it's like they're plotting on you watch bet i can get him to do this for me real quick because they're so fucking nice they ain't got no boundaries like yo that's how this person talks about you so in your face they're like wow like you're so good at this but when you leave they're, they're like that shit was so fucking easy to make them do that like I didn't really have to put in no fucking work to get them to do what I needed them to do. Or all I had to do was smile in their face a little bit and they did exactly what I wanted them to do. Okay? Um, so, yeah, it's almost like this person is making bets that they can get you to do certain things or something. Okay? Um, I also put someone's doing their job badly, like, on purpose so that you can come take over, help do all the work like somebody around you or somebody that's coming around you or recently was around you i'm telling you they're making it seem like they don't know how to do shit okay can you do it for me i i can't but it's because they know that you're amazing at whatever this is when they can literally do it themselves okay um this person don't want you to be in an energy where you're not tired i feel like they don't want you to have no breaks i also feel like they're like recommending you to other people as well so like i said the outside energy looks good. It looks like, like, I got you some recommendations and I did, th but behind the fucking scenes, it's like, yeah, we're going to get her to do this for us. Like, and she going to do it for free. He going to do it for free. Like, trust me, like I can make them do this for me easily. So whoever they're recommending you to, it's like the way that they're talking about you though, they're talking about you like they can make you do something like, and I feel like y'all would just do it because you're genuinely nice. But it's the energy behind this person. Like, why are you trying to make it seem like the collective is your bitch? Like, this person's trying to make it seem like you're their bitch. Like, like I said, you ain't got no self-respect for yourself. And you'll just do anything they say. But I'm telling you, when they actually come up to you, it's not like, girl, do this for me because you do it anyway. It's, it's not how they come at you. They come at you like, please. Oh, thank you so much. When you leave, so fucking easy. Oh, she's so easy. Like... Oh my gosh, she's so dumb. Can she tell I don't really like her? I don't fuck with her like that. I just needed her to come clean my house real quick. I just needed her to give me a free reading real quick. I really just wanted her to do my hair real quick. Like, I knew I can get her to do it for me and my friends. I knew I can get it, her to do it for me and my homeboy. I knew I can get him to do that for me and my woman. Like, somebody's just doing a little bit too much, all right? Um... I so put all of this actually took a mental toll on you. So I do feel like a lot of y'all this already kind of happened or it's already been happening. But whatever this person is doing is actually taking a mental toll on you. Okay. I also put people tried to flip it like you were the bad guy when you were literally a victim of this person the entire time. So I don't know what's going on where people were like looking at you like you were the bad guy or like you wasn't good or you weren't right. But the whole time this person was like targeting you and making you their victim. Okay, so yeah, a lot of y'all, somebody made, like, somebody, like, was like, ooh, the collective, shiny, smart person, uh, popular person, kind, whatever it is about you, that's where they targeted you, okay, and then they try to put all this energy off onto you because you're really good at whatever this is, you could be, like I said, very popular, or like I said, just amazing at something that you're doing, 
I don't know if it's this person to try to make it seem like you're a bad person, but other people. For a lot of y'all, I feel like it's this person, okay? It's almost like they tried to flip it like you were a bad guy, bad girl. But the whole time, the person is making you look like a bad guy or a bad girl. Um, you are a victim of this person. Like, this person was like, ooh, shiny. Come here. I'm going to get you to do everything I want you to do for me and for everybody around me. And then when you, maybe you possibly, some of y'all possibly stopped doing what it is this person wanted. Some of y'all possibly stopped connecting with this person. Some of y'all straight up told this person, no, I can't do that. And that's when you became the bad guy in this person's eyes here, okay? Um, but yeah, this person, you were a victim of this person the entire time. And it's almost like this person is mentally ill, strategic as fuck. I'm going to get this person to be my slave. I'm going to get them to do whatever I want them to do. Like, I don't know what it is where this, maybe, like I said, it seems like y'all are so kind. You will do anything for anybody that is in your circle that you care about, that you have love for. And like I said, they knew that. And that's why they wanted to be up in your energy. That's why they knew that you can come, they can come around you and ask you for anything. They could ask you to do this, but they didn't never boss you around. Like they, they tried to make it seem like the other people, Okay, or like for some of y'all, they just got this satisfaction for themselves. Like it may not be them saying, oh, I can get her to do that to anybody else. It's them doing it for themselves. Like, oh, I knew that I could fucking control this person. I knew that I can get him or her to do what the fuck, whatever the fuck they wanted you to do here. Okay, so y'all do need to realize y'all were a victim of this person the entire time. They wanted you to feel mentally unstable. Okay, they wanted whatever they were trying to put on you, place on you to take a mental toll on you. Okay, they wanted you to feel drained, like where you could not continue to do what you do, where you couldn't continue to be great. Okay, so for some of y'all, I feel like they actually stacked a lot on top of you. And then when you got drained and you didn't have enough energy, that's when they tried to flip the energy. Oh, she's, he's this. They ain't even all that. They ain't shit. Like, she's not a good person. He's, whatever it is that they were trying to make it look like you were a bad person, that was the person that was victimizing you the whole time. Okay? Um. So, yeah, y'all were easily manipulated by this person. And like I said, they it's, it's kind of giving like, damn, that was easy. Like, I can manipulate the fuck out of her. I can manipulate the fuck out of him. Or I did. I did that. Or let me try to do it again. Some of y'all, they tried it again. And you were like, no, get the fuck. <laughs> I'm here, girl, if you don't get the fuck from me. So maybe some of y'all caught on or some of y'all were just like, you know what? You doing too much. You Just get the fuck from me. Get, get away from me. Okay? I also put... This person is so fucking fake, though. I put they would smile on your face, but as soon as you leave, that smile would drop. Like, as soon as you're like, yeah, I can do that for you, they're like, oh, thank you so much. As soon as you leave out that room and you turn around, they're like, yeah, that was easy. Like, I knew I could fucking get you to do that. Duh. Like, this bitch gets on my nerve. Like, it's, <laughs> I hate that energy, but that is the energy I'm feeling. Like, this is a really actual fake as fuck ass person. Okay? Um... I also put, you guys might be a little bit confused on why this person keeps bringing your name up in the situation. Because I do feel like this person's like trying to tie you to some bullshit. So I don't know if it's his past energy or they keep trying to, like I said, tie you to some type of bullshit. There's something that this person keeps trying to tie you to. And it's like confusing you because you're like, no, I didn't. Or no, I'm not. Or what are you talking about? Like, you, it seems like you're confused because this person is trying to tie you to some bullshit. Or they're trying to like place you into some bullshit and you're like genuinely confused like what no the fuck i wouldn't do that or i didn't do that okay i so i did ask what is the collective's energy and i put that you guys are very disliked by this person i put this person cannot stand you but i put laugh my ass off so please don't get triggered like it's it's literally i the energy i feel from this person they're fucking psycho they're fucking crazy they're low vibrational they're fucking karmic okay but anyway Cluck this energy. You guys are very disliked by this person. They cannot stand you. Uh, but your real friends, your families, and your real lovers rep you hard as hell. And that's probably an issue for them. You got people that genuinely fuck with you. You got genuine supporters. You got family members that are genuine to you if this is a family member. You got friends that really do rock with you real hard if this is supposed to be a friend. Uh, you got a, a lover that really want to be with you if this is like an ex-lover, okay? So the people who do love you, they go real, real hard for you. They really love you. And like I said, I feel like that might be an issue for this person. Oh, well. Um, I also put this person 
not only wanted you to like take care of your home and things that you got going on, they wanted you to do whatever this is for them. But this person was trying to like stack too much on top of you. So like, like I said, let's say that this person that I'm speaking on was supposed to be your partner in the past. And they were like, look, I need you to go get a job and make this much money and then come home, clean up, do all that. It's like they was piling that shit on top of you on purpose. And then you'd be like, hey, clean the kitchen real quick. And they act like they don't know what they're doing. That's the type of shit. Like, they had you putting in way too much energy when they wasn't never coming home cleaning up. It's like that type of energy. If it's not necessarily, like I said, you living with this person, they wanted you to do their work. They wanted you to take care of whatever the fuck they wanted you to take care for them. Okay, uh, I need you to do my hair, do this, do that. And then you have to go home and then take care of your home. You get what I'm saying? You have to go home, do your hair, do your kid's hair. Now you're tired. Now you're drained. But they want to make sure that you do it for them first. It's like that type of energy when you ain't never really have to do that. Okay, so this person wanted you to basically be working double time, overtime when you did not have to be doing that. Okay. Um. I also put this person wanted you to bring in a ton of money. Like just the dynamic between you and this person was completely unfair. It was not equally yoked. You were the give, 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 giver. And they were the take, 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 taker. And like I said, this person taking from you so much and then spinning it. Like I can get her to do whatever I want. I can get him to do whatever I want. Boy, fuck them. They got me fucked up a little bit. Okay. For you, they got me fucked up. Um, But yeah, this person, they wanted you doing their work. And they wanted you doing your work, too. They didn't give a fuck about you being drained, tired. Um, some of you guys could be perfectionists. So, like I said, let's say they were doing something in front of you. They did it wrong on purpose. So, you could be like, I'll just do it. I got it. You you just relax. I'm good. Like, because you need whatever this is. that, y'all. But anyway, so whatever it is um, that this person was trying to make you do or they had you doing, that shit was completely unfair. Okay? And they really wanted you doing double shifts. Some of y'all, they actually had you working double shifts here. So you don't have to take it how it resonates. Um, other, others of y'all, this is more like a example. Like you weren't actually working double shifts. Like I said, you were doing your work or whatever it is you need to do for you and then having to do it for them too. Okay. And also put for some of y'all, y'all could have even been pregnant with twins or triplets while they were trying to put all of this shit on you. Okay. Some of y'all could have been pregnant. I don't care if you were pregnant with twins, triplets, or just a regular baby. They shouldn't have been putting all that on you if you were pregnant. Other of you guys might not have been necessarily pregnant, but maybe you had a lot of ideas. You're very gifted. So some of y'all, y'all had these ideas that you needed to uh, attend to, to tend to. Some of you guys, you had these ideas that you needed to put energy into. But like I said, how are you ever going to put energy into any of your ideas of what you needed to do if you were doing things for this person all day and they were like making, I don't know what they were doing, but they were like making you, um, but it was in a strategic way. It's not like they made you like forcefully. It's like a smile on your face type of energy. And then <laughs> I knew I could get that dummy to do what I wanted, like that type of energy. Okay. Um, so I did ask for some advice and the advice I got was you guys need to just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, some of you guys are about to be accepted in places you never thought you would be accepted in. And I did pick up on a few things that y'all are doing. Uh, but I, um, so some of y'all, y'all could be in college and some of you guys are about to be accepted into the school of your choice. Some Somebody could be in high school and they're getting accepted into the school of their choice. Somebody could be going to grad school. Okay, somebody is a detective. We got singers. Somebody may be going to nationals for whatever it is that they're doing. Um, somebody here is a designer. Somebody is about to get 1 million views, 1 million subscribers, or 1 million likes. Someone here is a mechanic. We have hairdressers, teachers, college professors, astrologers, social media influencers, rappers, and people whose small businesses are about to go viral. Okay? Those are some of the things that y'all may be um, into or maybe what may be coming for you guys. Okay? So, like I said, just keep doing what you're doing, especially if I name some of these some of the things that you actually do. Even if I didn't name it, you get the gist of it, okay? Um, but y'all, like I said, just keep doing what you're doing because you're about to be accepted in places you never thought. Um, I also put... This person may have tried to make it seem like you weren't as good as the rest of the students, if, if it's a school, the rest of your siblings, 
um, the rest of your cousins, the rest of the people in your friend group, whatever this is, where somebody's like, they it, it really just giving, they downplayed you because you're going to be the one that's actually pushed to the next level, okay? So somebody might not have thought that you were as good as whoever these other people in this group is. If this is family, like I said, oh, uh, they're cool, but they're, they don't do it as good as the cousins or they're not as good as the the siblings, their brother or their sister. Um, they may not be as good as the other co-workers. Oh, they're okay, but they're not better than the rest of the students. It's like whoever this person is, they definitely try to compare you to everybody in this group, in this friend group, in this family setting, in this classroom, whatever it is. But you're going to be the only one that's going to nationals, the only one that's going to college, to grad school, the only one that's going to make it on social media. You're going to be the only one doing that. You're going to be the only one to do something with your uh, hair, your beauty career, whatever this is. Um, so, yeah, keep doing what y'all are doing here because they targeted you out of the entire group and they downplayed you out of the entire group. And you're going to be the only motherfucker to make it out of the entire group. <laughs> or you are the only one. So keep doing what you're doing. OK, I also put you Ben had these abilities. You just never did anything with them. Uh, and I feel like maybe because other people didn't really want you to see your abilities. But you been like whatever it is where People are like, wait, what the fuck? Why did they get a scholarship out of nowhere? Or why the fuck did they subscriber count just go up out of nowhere? Or how did they uh, business suddenly take off out of nowhere? Like I said, whatever it is that you're doing, you been had these abilities. You've been real good at whatever this is. You just never did nothing yet with it. Like I said, let's say you been knew how you been had the ability to draw, but you ain't never do nothing with it. But now suddenly you come on social media with it. That's probably what the issue is. Um, I put, you guys were randomly chosen and that's why they're mad. I also put some of the people that you are being put up against. Cause I feel like other people are placing you against these, this one person or these other people are placing you against these other people. I don't feel like these people are trying to compete with you. Like remember I was like, they keep comparing you to other people in the group. I think it's this one energy that's keep trying to make y'all compete or trying to compare y'all okay or it might be outside forces or outside energies trying to make y'all compete here like i said at the end of the day you may be going you guys may be being put up against not that you're going up against them but you're being put up against people who might have been doing something that you're doing now since they were young like you always had the ability to draw but billy been drawing since he was five and that's probably why billy mad you get what i'm saying like where the fuck did she come from like, who the fuck told her that she could start drawing like that? Like, she never tried to draw before. Like, and then not only is she drawing out of nowhere and she came out of nowhere with it. Why do people support this shit? Why is she suddenly popular? Why is he suddenly taking off? I've been doing this since I was five. That's the energy behind some of these people. So just realize some of the people that these people placed in competition with you, or maybe they place themselves in competition with you, they're mad as fuck because you actually are the chosen one. You could have started when you was 50. And like I said, they started when they was five and you still was chosen. And that's what kind of got somebody a look Ooh. mad, but Hey, it is what it is. I also put, you guys are very naturally kind, naturally sweet. And this person or these people, they just wanted you to be perceived as fake. Like somebody just felt like you're, super naturally kind energy was fake okay mm, that's not real that she's a fraud she can't be that nice he's not that nice like nobody's a saint like that nobody's that good like <laughs> that's fake as fuck it's that type of energy like somebody just thought that your kindness was fake oh she's chose like bro you was just being targeted oh you come out of nowhere with a talent you ain't never been doing this and you come out of nowhere suddenly doing this whatever oh so you're nice now Whatever, you're not fucking nice. Like, that shit's fake. Bro, I promise you. Like, somebody just perceived you as fake as fuck. Because you are naturally sweet. You are naturally nice. Okay? And I also put, you guys, you just need to leave unsupported friends and family in 2023. You need to leave these motherfuckers in the past. Because these are the people that are targeting you. These are the people that are competing with you. These are the people who are placing you in competition with other people. These are the people who are like, wait... When did you learn how to sing? Like you, and why did you have followers for being a singer when Bob he been singing for 
15 years and ain't nobody ever pay him no attention. Who do you think you are? Like, that's the energy. Like, these people are mad as fuck because you got picked out of nowhere. You got picked out of the bunch. And your, and it's not that you were never talented. Your talent was always hidden, bro. Your talent was always hidden. It was sitting dormant <laughs> within you. And like I said, you had to get these haters away from you or you just had to stop caring about what they were talking about or what they had going on or you had to stop putting your energy off into these people. Some of y'all, they didn't. you weren't ever going to discover your talent or whatever it is that you're good at because this person kept making you do it for them and then you. So by the time it was time for you to do it for yourself, you was burnt out. Hey, girl, I need you to write me this song because I know you're one of the best. Okay, I got you. You're so because you guys, maybe you were a people pleaser. So you go ahead, you write this person's song. They're like, perfect, thanks. I knew I can get this bitch to write this song. Now it's time for you to write your own song. God, I feel drained. I feel tired. I'll write it later. I'll do it later. Eventually, you started catching on. Man, every time I do it for this bitch, I can't do it for myself. <laughs> I think I'm going to just have to let them go. Now you're doing it for yourself and people are being are able to see it. Okay? This person and other people. And that's why they're mad. Why is she doing it? Why they? Why is she suddenly out of sudden doing it? No, you been doing it. You was just doing it for this person the whole time, okay? It's almost like a, a let's say you're a ghost writer, okay? Somebody could be a ghost writer. But yeah, it's almost like you're a ghost writer and somebody's getting all the credit for singing your songs. <laughs> and you put in all the work, okay? You, <laughs> yeah, it's something like that, all right? And keep doing what y'all doing. I also put... These people, they are your biggest haters. They do not want to see you win, and they will never congratulate you. So that's why you should just leave them where the fuck they at. Leave their ass in 2023, and do not look back, okay? Because they're never going to support you, bro. You can, like I said, you're going to hit that million. You're going to do whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. You're going to go to grad school, but they're not going to support you the way that the people who... You're going toward, they're going to support you here, okay? Um, these are your biggest haters. These friends, these family members, these co-workers, this, hell, it might be your own professor, for all I know, your biggest haters. And they're not going to congratulate you, even though you're shitting on all of them, all right? So, let's get into the names and locations. So, we got Boonesville, Houston, Irving, anywhere in Texan, Texan, Texas, Miami, anywhere in Florida, we got Kentucky, we got the UK, we got Charlotte, we got Pennsylvania, New York, Indianapolis, but anywhere in Indiana, excuse, excuse me, we got Atlanta, Savannah, Reedsville, but anywhere in Georgia, we got St. Louis, San Francisco, Forest Hill, San Diego, Los Angeles, Hollywood, but anywhere in California, we got Chicago, Morris, but anywhere in Illinois, we got West Virginia, Santa Fe, or it's the Santa Fe. I don't know. Santa Fe. Uh, Las Vegas, to Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, but anywhere in Alabama. We got Detroit, but anywhere in Michigan, Virginia, Tennessee, Washington, New Jersey, Scottsdale, Wisconsin, Albany, Raleigh, or Riley, Kansas, and the DMV area. Okay. Now, I did pick up on names as well. It could be first, last, middle. It could be your name, the name of the hater, the name of this person that was targeting you or they are currently targeting you. You take it how it resonates. I also have um, initials as well or nicknames. So you take it how it resonates. All right. So we got Myers, Thompson, John, Elena, Arielli, Arelli, Arelli. Nuki, Morales, Chloe, JT, TJ, A, W, J, P, K, P, M, J, D, J, uh, Bonnie, Ariana, Hayes, Jazz, Lee, Jasmine, Patrick, Caitlin, Tawana, Romeo, Rose, Michael, Chris, Paris, Wilders, Sophia, Andy, Brittany, Yasmin, Yaya, Haley, Dave, McIntyre, Brian, Javante, Michael, Benjamin, Gabriella, um, Monique, Olivia, Griffin, Hannah, Sierra, Alex, Kathleen, Victoria, Jackie, Noah, Sabrina, Tasia, Nikki, Marina, Amelia, um, Josh, Myron, <clears throat> Nicole, Tiffany, Angela, Shirley, Wanda, 
David, Maxwell, Abby, Paula, Montreal, Charles, Brown, Julian, Earl, Don, Jonah, Leigh, Adriana or Adriana, Lucille, Zoe, Cam, Cammy, I mean, Destiny, Hallman, Erica, Lauren, Nissa, Kyla, Harris, Leslie, Emmanuel, or Emmanuel, or Emanuela, Keisha, Rosie, Ivory, Murphy, Renee, Cassidy, Kyra, or Kira, Cheryl, Dixit, Cheryl Dixon, Richie, Nene, Tammy, Montre, Drea, Gabe, Nakia, Pierre, Key, Elaine, Tamia, Isabel, Victor, Aisha, Vincent, and Jayla. All right. I hope it resonates. I love y'all so much. Bye. Go take a little trip. It's such a future with me. Go take a little dip. Go take a little dive. Get that energy right. We gon' get it together. There's the car, the cars, the key clarity. The cars, the cars, the key what you need. Subscribe to my channel.